I feel like, I, honestly, it kind of depends because I do believe in Jesus, but at the same time, based on some of the stuff that I have done, I'm not sure if I'll exactly go to heaven, but I want to. How are you today before I start? Uh, yeah, I'm good. How about you? That's good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing good. Do you have any plans for uh, Easter break? Or, I meant spring break or whatever? Uh, my spring break is actually about to end. I oh, don't really do much. that's depressing. Okay. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's very much so. Okay. <laughs> that sucks, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do you believe in an afterlife? I mean, yeah. Like heaven and hell? Yes, I do believe in that sort of stuff, yeah. Where do you think you'd go? There, um, I feel like, honestly, it kind of depends, because I do believe in Jesus, but at the same time, based on some of the stuff that I have done, I'm not sure if I'll exactly go to heaven, but I want to. It, it's kind of like, yeah, I kind of want to go to heaven, and I feel like I might, but also, depending on everything that I've done, it's, it's kind of like, in between. Do you, Okay. Uh, I agree with a lot what you said because what you said about like what we've done, none of us deserve to go to heaven. Like every yeah, every single sin. Yeah, exactly. Here, do you know what the ten commandments are? Ten commandments. Uh, uh, I don't think I do. I think I remember. I think I remember what one of them was, but I'm not sure if that's right. Okay, so basically the ten commandments are like called the moral law. Basically, it's a standard of perfection that if we want to go to heaven by our achievements, that's how we get there. Do you want to see if you're good enough to go to heaven? It's going to be like a quick little sure. test. So basically what I'm going to do, like a doctor shows you your sickness before he gives you the cure, I'm going to show you the sickness right. we all have, and then I'm going to tell you about the cure. Does that sound good with you? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay, cool. How many lies have you told in your life? Like, I don't have to give a specific number, right? Or No, you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm that's, at the that's, same that's boat that's as you are. Lot. I've told, like, so many, dude. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm at your same... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. So, a lot, yeah. so since we've told those lies, that would make us liars. Make sense? Indeed. Mm -hmm. Have you ever stolen anything despite its value? Even, like, the smallest thing? On accident. I've done that too. What would that make us? Uh, thieves. It would make us lying thieves. You get where I'm coming at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. Yeah. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust before? Jesus said, if you were to look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery with her within your heart. What is lust? Basically, is lust? looking at someone with like. I don't know if I could say this on Roblox, actually. Like, with... Intentions in, in, of, like, doing... Yeah, yeah. Or... Yeah, like, that type of intention. Does does that make sense? You know, okay. I, I don't yeah, know yeah, how it's... Yeah, okay. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay. Cool. I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to word it. I was like, oh, shit. I mostly I... just jumped about, like... Like, if I were to ever look at a woman or, like, my future partner or my partner, I would mostly think of having them, like, just being with them with the family, you know? Just, like, having yeah. a family with them, going out. I don't know, just like stuff like that. That's beautiful, bro. Okay, so personally, I've looked at one with lust plenty of times. So by that, it would make me a lying, thieving, adulterer at heart. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Like in what way? Like saying OMG, <laughs> stuff like that. Yes, yes, I have, I have, I have. Yeah. I have too. Basically, that's called uh, using God's name in vain. It's so serious in the Old Testament. It was punishable by death. So basically, by this verdict, we would be lying, thieving, adulterers at heart, and blasphemers. Basically, if God were to judge us based on those things, where would we go? Heaven or hell? I feel like we would go to a very not fun place. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't, I don't really that word. So you see what I'm meaning? Basically, I'm uh, trying to explain that, you know, all of us don't measure to God's perfection. And do you know what God did to save sinners like us, to have us be able to have a relationship with him? Yeah, he died on the cross. Correct. That's where Jesus came in. Jesus came. He basically took you and I's hell, placed it upon himself, 
and died on the cross and took our burden, our load, onto himself. And basically, all, all we have to do to get eternal life is put our faith in Jesus Christ alone for the atonement of our sin. It's not about, you know, what I could do to get myself to heaven. It's because of what Jesus did. Does that make sense? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I understand. So, if God were to ask you why I should let you in heaven, what would you say? I'm not actually sure. Okay. What do we have to do to be able to get to heaven? Believe in that. Believe that Jesus died for us on the cross, or I think. Correct. Uh, Putting. You're right. Putting our faith like, in Jesus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Trusting in Him and His finished work, because He was perfect and sinless, but He did everything that we couldn't do. So I'm asking you again: If God were to face you right now, and He asked you why I should let you in heaven, what would you say? I would say that I believe Jesus died on the cross for us and took away all of our sin when he did that. Correct. It's because of Jesus and his sacrifice. Because our answer can't be, you know, because I did this. It's because of Jesus. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when do you think you'll get right with God? When you mean by getting right with God, what like, exactly do you Wait, mean? do you already have, like, a faith in Jesus already? Like, you trust him wholly, uh, put your yeah, faith I in him? him every day. Yeah, I pray every, on him. Every, I, I pray every single day. I believe that he's going to protect me. I'm thankful that I wake up every single morning, and I think it's because of him. That's beautiful, bro. It's nice talking to you. Uh, will you think about what we talked about today? I definitely learned a lot more, and I definitely learned about myself a lot more from this conversation than I thought I had already known about myself. It's great, bro. Um, I hope you have a good day, dude. You too, man. I enjoyed talking uh, to you. I really do appreciate this conversation. <sighs> you too. Usually when I have these conversations, people just, like, literally skip it so quick. <laughs> skip it? Oh, uh, yeah. man. Uh, it did, so like, funny, like, I can't even, like, finish, like, the whole thing, and then they're like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it feels pretty weird, but you know, honestly, I was it was nice to have this conversation with you, man. Yeah. It was it's pretty it's pretty rare to find people like this on the internet, you know? Yeah. Gotta be with you, bro. Yeah, you nice too, one. man. May God be with you. See I hope ya. we'll see each other again sometime. Yep. Alright then.